And what we have here is a model of our hybrid solar dryer. This is used for drying fruit so that it can have a long shelf life and can be processed into flow or whatever. So we can dry breadfruit, mango, almost anything, even uh, meat and fish. So here's how this works. It's built in modules. We collect solar heat, we don't convert it into electricity, and then it feeds up through this cabinet to dry the fruit. Here's how the solar collector works. These modules can be separated from moving or relocating, or they can be bolted together. So here's what we're having. This is a black painted metal sheet. Sunlight hits it, it gets hot. The cover is a clear plastic that keeps the heat in, a greenhouse effect, literally. So air enters from this small opening, travels above and below this hot metal sheet, and then flows up through convection into this cabinet. This is the lower cabinet. There's a door to this lower cabinet, and if we have a cloudy day or a rainy day, we open the door and we put in a propane stove. So we're stuck at the moment, but a stove goes in here. Hot air flows up through this upper cabinet, and again, here's a door. Let's see if this one will open. And we put food in on shelves. These are just like chain link fencing or mesh, and we put food safe, put the food on food safe trays on top of these shelves. The full size model, this is a one eighth scale, the full size model, this would be four feet square, and you would have five shelves, each with 20 to 25 pounds of fresh fruit. When it dries, you'll end up with about 30 to 35 pounds of dried fruit, but that's how this solar dryer works. Uh, the roof module, they're all, these modules are all able to be separated again for movement, for relocating. The roof module um, has a solar fan. Here's a representation of a solar fan facing south if you're in the northern hemisphere. Solar insulation is about a kilowatt per square meter. You can have up to six kilowatts of solar energy, again direct heat coming up through, through the fruit or through the product, whatever you're choosing to dry. Our calculations show that on a nice hot day in the tropics, Haiti, Jamaica, Africa, wherever, you can dry a load of about 120 pounds of fruit in six hours or less. So that's a pretty fast dry, which is what you want. You're not cooking the fruit or the food, you're simply dehydrating it so that it has a long shelf life. This is our hybrid solar dryer.